Man, I can't help it. I have to debunk these people. Comparing a character by feats is one way to find out how strong a character is. Another way to find out how strong a character is is when the author lays out a blueprint of how strong their character is. And when they don't contradict their information when they implement it in the work of fiction itself. That is another way to find out how strong a character, a fictional character is. But that method requires you to actually understand the information for what it actually is. I'm not talking about putting your own spin on it. I'm not talking about putting your own interpretation on it. You actually have to understand the information for what it is. And you have to keep going over that information until you actually understand that information. Not your interpretation, but what the information actually means. People like this only go by proof by example. They don't have the capacity to do the proper research and understand the information properly. I'm not going to lie. I was going to straight out just block this guy. Because obviously he came in trolling talking about some. Saitama has no feats that put him in a combo with base Goku. No feats. Feats are irrelevant when the creator, one, lays out a blueprint for what Saitama is. And blatantly lets you know he doesn't have a limit. Based on all the factual information. I'm not going to waste my time reading all of these comments. Y'all can go ahead and read what I say. But this is what he says. The pyramid of power of any verse that's universal is infinitely leagues beyond the pyramid of power of the OP inverse. So being referred to as maximum or peak in your verse isn't anything impressive in the face of an even higher, man, higher pyramid of power. Dude, you clearly don't understand One Punch Man. One Punch Man is a deconstruction of the shonen genre. Saitama literally pokes fun at the power scaling system that you are trying to do by having literally no limit. But people like you don't understand that. I don't know what fantasy you live in to think you don't have to destroy a universe to be universal, but you are in the correct reality. What you're referring to is literal proof by example, and you have got to be extremely ignorant to think there is only one way to prove how powerful a character is. What you're doing is you're taking away creativity from these creators themselves. You're making it to the point where a creator can't just tell you, hey, this is how powerful my character is and this is what it is. Without people like you going, nah, I don't accept that. You need to show us proof by example. Who the fuck do you think you are? Sit the fuck down. You don't even take the time to understand the information for what it is. You don't even take the time to do the proper research. Shut the fuck up. I don't know what fantasy you live in to think you don't have to destroy a universe to be universal, but you aren't in the correct reality. It's not laughable because Saitama hasn't shown anything even at the solar system range. Only thing that's laughable is claiming Saitama to be above unquantifiable omnipotence times infinity. Your issue is you believe every statement ever explained in the series at face value. No, the fuck I don't. Don't sit here and tell me what the fuck I believe in when you don't even take the time to genuinely sit down and listen and pay attention to what I actually show in my videos. You're so biased that when you look at my videos, you're automatically overriding it with your very own headcanon. You're not paying attention to what I'm saying or showing. 
That's how biased you are. You already have your mindset made up on how you want to measure a character. You're the one that's biased here, not me. I completely understand that there are multiple ways in order to figure out how strong a character is. Proof by example isn't the only method. You have got to be fucking stupid to not know this. Your issue is you believe every statement ever explained in a series at face value because you want to massively highball very, very badly on some cognitive dissonance mentality. Saitama fans usually have. I'm used to it. I stick to the factual information and nothing more. I basically tell him I don't care about your opinion. Disprove that Saitama has no limit to his power. Keep it moving. Of course, he's not able to do that. So instead, he hits me with more rants. Omnipotence gag and no limits is an overused term that has been disrespected by clowns in your community. No, you're the fucking clown. You little shit. Your community doesn't even know what a galaxy solar system or universe buster is. <laughs> oh, man. How little you know about this. You do know what a fake narrative is, though. This guy's really trying to preach to me. So basically, y'all go ahead and read my comments. I'm not here to read my comments here. Y'all can just go ahead and read it. This is why I want to make the video. This right here. This statement right here. It literally said, he literally says, the reason why his statements don't contradict is due to the fact that the villains inside his plot are supposed to be weak to him. Hence, one punch man. That's the joke. You got one thing right. Saitama is literally confirmed to be stronger than everyone else. But you got the hints. The one punch man joke wrong. And you got the reason why the statements don't contradict wrong as well. You're relying on one piece of evidence instead of using all of the evidence if Saitama was only able to one punch everybody in his verse simply because he was stronger then I wouldn't be arguing that he can do that to anybody but there are other sources of information that points out otherwise This information isn't viable in a crossover neutral ground versus battle. I would never include that. But of course, you're too stupid to comprehend this. This information isn't viable for a crossover neutral ground battle. I would never include this. This isn't viable. And the reason why the show is called One Punch Man is because of this. With the first chapter, what I only had in mind were a string of words. One Punch Man and a vision of a character defeating his opponent in one punch and laminating. I finished in one punch yet again. That's why the show is called One Punch Man. But you sit here and say. <laughs> the reason why his statements don't contradict is due to the fact that the villains inside his plot are supposed to be weak to him. Hence, one punch man. That's the joke. Nah, you don't even know the proper factual information. P 
paraphrasing things leads to head cannon. Remember this, people. Paraphrasing things lead to head cannon. If you don't understand that, I'm going to elaborate that in the video that I promised you guys. Since a lot of people are interested in how I analyze my information and come to the correct conclusion, I'm going to be putting that information in that video. But the reason why the statements really don't contradict is because of this statement right here. This is literally Saitama's power right here. This is why the statements about his power are never going to be contradicted. Unless the creator goes back on everything that he says, which based on the direction One Punch Man is going and everything that he say, he will have to be crazy to contradict everything that he said. He would have to change the name entirely, which would be insane. So unless something crazy happens and he magically wants to change the direction of Saitama, which, man, a lot of fans would be mad at that, then that's not going to change. This is literally Saitama power. This right here. This is why Saitama is literally able to one punch everybody in his verse when he wants to. Sure, if this information wasn't available to us, you could sit here and say, and so would I, sit here and say Saitama is only able to do that because he's simply just stronger than everybody but that is not the case he's able to one punch anybody no matter how strong they are even if a if a opponent was quote unquote stronger than Saitama his power would still work the exact same but the thing about that is how is a opponent going to be stronger than Saitama when Saitama literally doesn't have a limit he removed the very thing that gives him a limit so how is somebody going to be magically stronger than him You continue by saying you just can't abuse it by applying it with crossovers. I debunked that already. It's no you no wonder why nobody but OPM drones F with you. No. These people actually pay attention to what I'm showing and saying in my videos, unlike you people. I take my time to provide this information and show it for what it is. While all you people do is come up in my videos and you don't even genuinely sit down to watch to understand what's being shown and said because you already have your minds made up. You're trash. Honestly, not trying to validate myself for other OPM drones like you is the difference between you and me. No, 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 no. What you do is bullshit. You don't put together all the factual information. You cherry pick certain information to spin your very own narrative. The reason why his statements don't contradict is due to the fact that the villains inside his plot are supposed to be weak to him. You simply used that factual information and left out the other factual information that I literally just provided you to spin your own narrative. When you do that, it literally does sound like he's only able to do that because all the opponents are weaker than him because of plot. While you purposely left out what Saitama power actually is, his power does not care how strong the opponent is. It literally doesn't care. You left out that important information. And by you leaving out 
that important information, that's why you were able to spin your own narrative. You had to cherry pick the information in order to say what you just said. But of course, everything that I'm saying to you is going to fall on deaf ear because people like you don't like to admit that you're committing fallacies. And then you sit here and say you have a habit of putting your own spin on ideas to fit the motive. I'm just pointing that out to you. I don't put my own spin on anything. I can't help you have an innate bias when it comes to this series. Man, when trying to argue in this video, you say disgusting nonsense like one stated he can one punch all crossover characters. Nowhere have I ever said anything like that. Shut the fuck up. But where was that even shown? And then if you do, this is the bullshit I'm talking about. They don't actually listen to what I'm actually saying. Nowhere do I actually say that. Anybody who's actually paying attention to what I'm actually saying in the videos genuinely, no damn well, I never said anything like that or even remotely close. It wasn't nothing more, nothing less. This is the bullshit I'm talking about. These people don't come in to actually listen to what you are saying in your videos. They hear what the fuck they want to hear. These people have selective hearing. And I'm getting tired of it. It's getting real old real fast. You say I'm putting my own spin on this information, but I'm not spinning this information at all. It's straightforward and to the point. A single man arose to face the evil threatening humankind. His name was Saitama. He became a hero for fun. Three years of special training made him lose all his hair, but he gained invincible power. He achieved such strength that he can defeat any opponent. It literally says any opponent, however strong, with one punch. Unable to make use of his full strength, he is unsatisfied as a hero, but a cyborg named Genos acts to become his pupil. Then the House of Evolution takes an interest in Saitama's power and sends monstroids, assassins after him. Dude, it literally says defeat any opponent, however strong, with one punch. Ain't no me putting a spin on it, but you people will literally take this and say, oh, that's just narrative. Or, or, that only just applies in his verse. My guy, you people are literally sitting here, by you coming up with these excuses, you're the ones putting your own biased spin on the information that's in front of your face. You put this man in a crossover neutral ground versus battle? This is literally his power. This isn't narrative. His power isn't going to magically change because you want to judge him by proof, by example, or you just straight up don't believe the statement, even though there is a bunch of factual information that supports it. You see this piece of information right here. Y'all can read the let rest, but I'm going to read what's highlighted. All I have to do is have him show up to punch the problem away. This information by itself doesn't really say much about Saitama power. You need the other pieces of information to come to the proper conclusion. This is narrative right here. This isn't saying what Saitama power actually is. It's literally just saying, hey, I'm not very good at coming up with clever ways for my main character to win. So all I do is have him show up. To punch the problem away. This dialogue. Has so much more meaning. When you put. The information about limiters into the picture. And how Saitama removed it. That dialogue also has much more meaning when you put when you're aware of the fact that this is a power that Saitama wanted himself 
Web Comet Manga. Same thing. Just a little change, slight change in the wording. That dialogue changes even more when Saitama literally lets you know he acquired an invincible power and became the hero that he always wanted to be. Same thing, just worded differently in the manga. That dialogue hits differently when you know he got his power in exchange. He had to sacrifice something in exchange for his power. Same thing, just worded a little differently. I didn't provide everything right now, but you get the gist of it. When you put together all of the factual information like you're supposed to do, which you people are incapable of, but you got the audacity to come up in my comment section and run your mouth, shut up. When you piece together all of that factual information correctly, like I just did, like you're supposed to do. This statement right here hits completely different. At first, I took this as all I had to do is have him show up to punch the problem away. And I was like, okay, he, it's his thing. He just has Saitama showing up, punch the problem away. But after you realize, oh, he removed the limiter from Saitama. And Saitama wanted the ability to one punch motherfuckers. This statement hits very differently. This man literally meant all he has to do is have Saitama show up to punch the problem away. Literally. This isn't a figure of speech anymore. He made Saitama without a limiter. What he says in these interviews, he implements them in the work of fiction itself. It's you people that come up with every excuse in the book to dismiss it. Sitting here talking about some, oh, you're just going to believe these statements at face value. Shut the fuck up. I would never sit here and believe a statement at face fucking value, you idiot. Get the fuck out of here. I make sure I do my proper research and I make sure I actually understand the information for what it is. I don't sit here and put my own twist on it like you claim that I do. When, in fact, you're the one putting your own twist on it. And even with this debunk video that I'm providing you, you're still going to insert your own head cannon. You're still going to put your very own twist on this information. You're still going to claim that I'm applying Saitama's narrative to cross over neutral ground battles when I blatantly showed you this is literally the power that Saitama wanted. You're going to ignore all of that and stick to your same tired behind arguments. This is why you people are a joke. This is why I can't help exposing y'all like this. I, I can't help it. I say I'm going to stop exposing y'all nonsense. But as long as y'all keep being difficult the way y'all are being, I'm going to keep exposing it. I would go into much more detail, but this video is already 23 minutes long. And I'm positive this man isn't going to actually watch a 23 minute video of itself. He's going to probably watch a little bit and say what he has to say. While completely ignoring everything I just showed to him and said. He's going to completely ignore that. <sighs> oh man. These people really don't understand One Punch Man at all. Nor are they willing to actually take the time to go out of their way. To understand the information that's provided. I'm not talking about putting their own spin on it. But actually understanding the information for what it is. Yeah I'm done here.